Yeah, hey, citizens. Welcome to the runners. I'm Execute, joined today by Algrid. How you doing, mate? I'm alive. <laughs> so we were talking a little bit, and we wanted to kind of have a thoughts discussion on why is the gala not coming mm. after they announced it? They went. They made a big kind of fanfare. The big car blew over it. That's right. Yep. And, um, and yeah, we just thought we'd talk about. Yeah, it. and and when we, you know, when the gala came up, we were, you know, it was one of the things that. As they looked, as you looked at what the gala was offering, uh, in those citizen con tickets and and to look forward to, mm. it really to me said this is the launch of Squadron Forty Two. That mm. was that was the thing that really launched out. You know, they were talking special guests, yep. they were talking uh, mementos, they were talking um, an event other than they were talking tours of the studio. Mm. Everything about it just seemed to say this is the launch of Squadron 42 or the announcement of the launch of Squadron 42. Yeah. And with that, um, I think my first reaction was doubt. Just mm. blew in and I went, uh. But I kind of look at it, I'm trying to think of it differently now and I'm wondering if they've had internal discussions and they've gone, look, um, do we do this small exclusive event mm. or do we include everyone? Do Do we make it like and I think the obvious answer would be yeah. you would want to include everyone, um, yeah. and I th I think they've probably seen the reaction of so many people wanting to get in on it, and then they've kind of gone, this number is way okay. too this number is yeah. way too low, and people are going to be severely disappointed, and I think that yeah. that's where mine mine goes with it at the end of the day. Like that's yeah. the positive spin on it, but obviously you can go more negative, can't you? So you can and. And I know that, <clears throat> sorry, my voice. I know that this was something or a small gathering at was, mm. was planned because I know uh, Sandy had talked about, uh, you know, Manchester being a small gathering to to usher in or, or to mm. to celebrate Star Citizen and uh, and Squadron. So, you know, that was that seemed to be the goal of thinking originally like uh, six, 12 months ago. Um, and then as you start planning, you go to the realisation that not everyone can make it to that event. Not everyone is going to be able to be there. Mm -hmm. And if you want it to be a a close event, like if we're talking um, events where, uh, like Bar Citizens, uh, Sandy has often talked about you really want them to be about 100 people max because once they go above that, mm -hmm. you can't get around and talk to everyone. Yeah, And it's true. You, you, try go to a, you could try to go to a party with more than 100 pe people, and you're not going to spend. You can't see everyone. Mm. Hell, even a, even a bar citizen with 30 people, I have trouble getting around to see everyone. Yeah. So you, you want those small, intimate events to be small and intimate. Yeah. And that puts in that whole FOMO, fear of missing out, I've missed out, I, I can't be there. Yeah, but by and the same token, friends. this is that event where I think you have to yeah. include everyone. The more the more yeah. more I think on it, the more I go over it. I'm like, can you imagine the like like that just makes it a haves and haves not. It really really does. Yeah, and, and it, it does. Um, I I don't know about you. If I'd gone on this epic ten year plus journey, and I had gathered all these people together, and then I just went, it's me and my mates. Yeah. You just ostracize yeah. all those people over there, and I now from my point of view, I think they want to be. Bring us all in and yeah. have a big group. Now, could you see them still doing a gala, but having, you know, the launch with the stars being there and I, I, key media groups being there? I think but I, I, not I, being open to the not being open to the community, if, if you know what I mean. Right? I don't. I, I don't know about the press and stuff like that. Right, that that stuff yeah. becomes a little tricky because again, why can't you just bring them in at the convention? and yep. do interviews in the back rooms at the convention like you could do with content creators as well. And again, why can't you just bring those stars up on stage? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, yeah. you know, I'm not saying you can't. I'm just putting it forward as a possibility. Do you think they could? And I, as your response says, probably not. Mm. It, it doesn't. Well, well, well why, can't they, could... why can't they still have a small gathering afterwards rather than beforehand? I think that's the yeah. way I would be and, pitching And I suppose... It. And I suppose the other way is if you do the same types of things you were going to do at the event, but the only thing you, they 
I suppose they can't really do at CitizenCon is shuttle tours of the studio because they've just been inundated. Yeah. But you could have the stars, the, the special guests turn up and be there and introdu- introduced. You could have them um, uh, interview behind the scenes. Maybe that's... Uh, but that, uh, that opens it up to everyone, doesn't it? it, maybe, it maybe they it... bring the media into the studios and do the interviews. Yeah, and, and as you said, you bring the media in as well. So... Uh, the reasoning. How, how many people? To... Like, just just chucking it out there, right? Like I'm I'm trying to do it. Like obviously they'd have to come from mm. London being the closest spot. I don't think. How many journalists do you think would fly in for this? And I don't think it could be that many, because of the expense, right? I don't know the the, the real distance between Manchester to London, right? But I assume that mm. it's like in the neighbourhood of probably four. Uh, Hang on, I'll just do this live. Hey Google, how long does it take to drive from Manchester to London? My car. The trip from Manchester to Three hours and forty nine minutes. minutes oh. So that that's not a short trip, but I could see people doing that for journalistic reasons. That's that's a trip from Canberra to Sydney. People yeah, do or a that little can con every year. Yeah, a little bit more, but it's also return. Don't forget that, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. that's that's a, a quarter of the day or more. Yeah. So it's a full but... day given up. So I, I just wonder how many maybe that's why it's happened. They just realized yeah. that not enough people are going to turn up from the journalism perspective. So why not just roll the celebrities into citizen con? Yeah, so well, I think at the end of the day it's it does seem like they're they're making the choices based on the greater impact of the community. Yep. So how many are going to be able to enjoy the event? Mm. I've got to admit, it does. It did raise the concerns for me. That, is this a sign that they are not going to make the target? So the target is makes mm. it, you know, launch Citizen Squad, <clears throat> launch sit, launch Squadron Forty Two at CitizenCon, mm. or announce the date, because mm. you know that's what they're aiming for. Mm. Is it a sign that they're saying we're not going to make that date? We're not going to make a launch date. Yeah, that's the and doubt, so, isn't it? And, and that's that is that is the thing that uh, that has has my concern or has my has my question. I still think they're aiming for it, but is it a sign that they're saying we're not going to make it? And, and yeah, yeah, and that, that that for me has been a big concern or a big yeah. thought process. Well, going, well, well going it's, it's made me hesitant about even because like we've, you and I have booked accommodation, but we haven't booked our flights mm. yet. So it's made yeah. me go because uh-huh. like we always yeah. wanted to go for the big one, and if we go and it's not it, then then it's kind of yeah. yeah. Well, you know, my my swing and a miss. I think you call it. And, and yeah, well, yeah. my long service leave is locked in. The the working out the the trip and and other aspects is um that's that's a very <laughs> a lot more expensive than i was originally thinking i'm going i was thinking earlier in the week oh i've got to cut i've got to cut back what i was planning <laughs> mm. um Damn. because it is yeah it but it isn't it, getting to citizen con is an expensive endeavor and and you know we've seen we saw paul and space raise the same question and yeah. um and other Australians have, have bailed out because they couldn't couldn't afford it, or, yep. or had you know work work commitments that meant they couldn't turn up. Yeah, I'd, I'd say um, most other major uh, star system content creators aren't coming mm. um, because well, of the expense. Well, I know at one point Crunchy was saying he wasn't he wasn't going. On. I haven't heard whether he, he's now reversed that decision. Um, um, I think and he, I know I think he tried to raise some funds, but I, I don't think he has made enough. But Again, I'll talk yep. to him and see what happens there. And I know, and I know, Des- General Desperado was intending to go because he was going to originally join join us in kind of accommodation type stuff. Uh, his was work but, reasons, so though. But his is, his yeah. is work related, so he can't go because of that. So yeah. it, it is taking the time off, or or um, or, or working out how to get there from from certainly the, the uh, uh, from our, our neck of the woods is is a tough call, um, and it's not just you know. It's not just us who feel that; it's it's the other the other content creators as well. So and and anyone else who wants to go. Um, so, so that raises that, that whole right. question as well. So all right, so I'm sitting here and I, and I'm kind of thinking of the journalism angle a fair bit. Yeah. And I'm thinking that if it was to be done at CitizenCon, you could roll the journalists in. But the other part that I haven't thought of is is the negative side. Was say it is 
like, just for argument's sake, right? It doesn't really yeah. matter when it is, right? But let's say it's a month yeah. afterwards, right? Yeah. You could then hold it in a more journalistically friendly environment, aka you could do it in London or New York or LA or wherever you want to do uh, it, and that would make it more appealing to the journalist to come. But the downside, you, you... obviously, would be that means they wouldn't have the celebrities at Citizen Con; they would have the celebrities at the press event. Well, you know as well as I, you know, you know. I've often said I was going to say you know as well as I do. I've always said <laughs> that's stupid stuff. But you know, I've always said that the ideal place to do a a a, a red carpet type launch of a squadron would be LA, literally on the on the mm. you know the, the famous Broadwalk where you get all the you know do a, literally do a red carpet event at the yeah. at LA and and get all the stars in for that. Yeah. But it also depends on which stars are, are living where, um, you know, which stars they were looking at having. Um, but yeah, it, it, it does raise that question as, yeah. as, as if they do if they do a, a press thing. The other thing of having, which I just thought of when you were talking about the press being at the event, is if you've got only say a hundred uh, of the community at Savagala, you don't get that massive crowd effect. Whereas if you do it at Citizen Con itself, mm -hmm. you've got the uh, the full on um, conference center, which, from last I heard, they only had one hundred tickets left available. That mm -hmm. is, you know, that's and that's not. Oh, we we we're not selling anymore because we don't want to. That's mm -hmm. once we sell those, we're, we're at capacity. We, we we can't take anymore. The, the the center won't let us take anymore. Yeah. So that's a really good. Um, that would be a really good position to be in for a launch as well, where you've got this massive just stadium jam-packed. Yeah, so for what you've said there, though, like I can see pros and cons. So the smallish mm. gala, um, not just being more intimate, but it's more controlled. So if you did yep. have celebrities or journalists there, you're not having to essentially sheep herd 3,000 people, so to speak. You can kind of control yep. it a bit more, um, and you'll probably find people they can kind of pick and choose a little bit more who's who's there yeah so um it's a bit more business related if you don't get my drift on that yep. um it just kind of tends to be where my my yep. mind is going and and that kind of gets the professional business side out of the way and then you would have been obviously been going into the, the thing the next day um mm. but now if that's all there then it's more of this grand showpiece it's more like keanu reeves off up on stage at e3 can you yeah. have um, well, Gillian yeah. Anderson, Henry Cavill, um, Gary Oldman, yeah. Mark Hamill, all up John on stage? Or, yeah. all, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. And you they're just talking. All up and it's like... Yeah. And they're talking about the game, and it becomes almost like a bit of a panel talk and almost a little bit like what you see at. Um, and... What's that? Um, Comic Con. Comes, Comic -Con. Like, a com Comes yeah. like a Comic Con panel. Yeah. And, but with a a, a um, conference center that's actually jam-packed yeah so the camera pan you could you almost see the press panning the camera back and just seeing the crowd yeah and if, and as the stars come on, i could see them as the stars come on stage and we're announcing they'd pan the camera and the crowd you know, if, if the crowd did not go wild i'd, I'd eat a hat you know it, mm. you know I, I could not imagine that not being the case Same. when when Star Citizen fans go wild when they see a video. Mm. What are they going to do when they saw the stars in person with their, you know, imagine their pictures, their, their CGI mm. picture behind them? Yeah, so so yeah, I also right, so. need to look at the online element as well. Like mm. um, the gala, I think it would be a little bit more subdued for the people watching online where I think um, yeah. you're a little bit more included on the day type of thing. They do kind of address the online audience. They... I just don't see they would do that, especially when it's such a mm. smaller group. Um, I just feel that they would, it, it'd kind of be like a fly on the wall type approach with that one. Um, you know, I, I'm can, not even can, sure they would. Can, can they actually take like online questions and questions from the mm. audience as well um, in a panel format where you kind of wouldn't be able to do that because again, it would be all, more business and the, the instructions would, uh, the questions would be more structured and like kind of pre-answered and stuff like that. So. I, I think if you're doing like for the gala, I'm not even sure you could live stream it just because of the, the nature of the way 
of the types of things I was saying they, they were going did. to do. Yes, we'll have the interviews. Yes, we'd have the tours. But they did say cameras um, were going to be welcomed. So, yep. yeah. Which makes me think, so, again, I just think press event when I hear cameras welcome. Yep. So. Yeah, so, so it does say, yeah, so is the sky falling that the, I suppose that the, now that the, we've, We've had the announcement that the gala is, is not going to go ahead. Yeah. And, and I think, while it, I think while it raises those questions for us, I think it it also shows there is a greater degree of thought by CIG in terms of uh, what is better for the whole community rather than uh, yeah. what is good for 5 or 9%. You I, know, so. Yeah, I think for me that's kind of what I'd put out into the comments for, the, mm. for everyone is like just – just run it through your head and, and, and is this a positive or a negative? Because I can see it going both ways. Like the obviously mm. scary one for me and Agrid wanting to go to the release of Squadron the 42 is, is, is it just, is it, is it just slightly being kicked down the road? Like, is mm. it, are they worried they're not going to get there for citizen con or is it that doubt just creeping into our heads and yeah, it's still on. They're just including the entire community. So Mm. Let us know your thoughts on the comments there. Agra, is there anything you'd like to hear in the comments or anything you would like to add further, actually? No, I, I think that's, uh, that pretty much sums it up. Like, uh, are our fears and concerns mm. um, justified? Yep. Or, uh, or, or do you think it makes more sense to yep. have an event mm. for, or have such an event and roll it in so the whole community mm. can actually participate? Because I, I don't think yep. the... You, a live streaming of, of a gala would actually work as well as say the live streaming yep. of the the comp of the, the sitcom itself. Yeah, and that clearly makes it. Yeah, sitcom clearly is available to everyone in the community at the same time. Yeah, and now and um, so, now old man Hurston's cutting back and making cutbacks. Uh, if you have somewhere you would like him to stay, like a couch, a dunny. An outhouse anywhere mm -hmm. in the UK. I'll, I'll put myself in there too uh, while we're around there. If you guys uh, want to put us up, old man up. and his um, yeah, got to have boy, yep. got to come with caviar though, doesn't it? Got to have caviar, and they've got to have a butler. No, <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah. No. yeah. If you've got if you've got somewhere to put us up, let us know in the comments. Yeah, so so we're, yeah, I got an outhouse for for Algrid. I can see that. That'd be great. It's a little, uh -huh. little cappuccino. Anyway, I, I, I don't want an outhouse in England. <laughs> God no. <laughs> mm. Imagine how cold it would be. Yeah. Freeze your nuts off. You should come down to Tassie, man. Freeze your nuts off. Um, every, right, every, every day is smoke breathing out weather at the moment. That's how you know it's cold down here. So, yeah. yeah hard, it'll harden you, you up. it in from all the fires. Yeah, it'll right. ha harden you uh, mainlanders up. You need some concrete, ugh, concrete from down at Bunnings. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, Dan. Anyway. With that then, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And thank you mm -hmm. to everyone that went extra mile on Patreon at the end of the video. Um... With that, then, he's been our grid. He's been executed, and we're out of here. Take care. See you, citizens.